Oh. <laughs> it's been a while. I've been uh, been sick. Um, before Collecticon, during and after, it's it's been what it feels like eternity. But uh, finally back. And what we're going to bring to you today is something very special. I'll go ahead and warn you that the audio quality is subpar, but what you're hearing is a thousand times better than what it was. So based on current technology and software, this is about as good as I can do. And I recommend maybe some headphones sitting somewhere that you can actually focus on the conversation because there are some parts that are harder to hear because of background noise, Sometimes we're speaking softly. We'll try to improve this for next year, but I hope you enjoy. We're gonna go through almost every single guest that came to the party at Collecticon and ask a single question, and that is, what are you most thankful for? So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy, and we look forward to seeing you at the end. What's up everybody, we're here with Ray. We uh, we were talking, in all honesty, Ray had a great idea. We are doing a little get together. He wanted to talk about one question that everybody can speak to. And today, we're gonna to ask that one, starting with the man himself. Ray, what is the most thing that you're thankful for? What am I most thankful for today? Okay. To be clear, just for today. <laughs> well, we can we can venture into the future a little bit. So, I am thankful to have a weekend of doing something that I love with a group of friends that I love. That it's become so much more. We hear the laughter in the background. So much more about just doing the business. Um, the network has become more than just about the business. It's become about true friendship that hopefully last a lifetime. Yeah. Um, well, what do you think? I'm gonna hit you with you first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you right back. Um, I'm thankful, honestly, for the opportunity. These are things that I never fathomed to be true. I've been in corporate world for 20 plus years uh, obviously been around the world and doing a lot of the jobs but I've never had connection like this I was speaking to Beersky and the Pokemon is the medium of which we move through and what we have after that medium is there and the richness that is in this moment it can't be replaced by anything else. I've never met people as good as the people in this hobby. I say it all the time, but it's because I truly know it. So I'm grateful for the opportunity to be here and share this memory. I think it would be nice. Yeah, is it strange that uh, we live, we all live like just so far away, and yet like we just feel that connectedness? I mean, but I mean, obviously, you know, online type personalities like we're, we're kind of used to it a little bit, and we're a little bit younger, so we're. Yeah. So like we have a little bit of problems, but like you get back together again, it's like it never you never left each other. And, and I told Beerski we were sitting there our first day together, and I said I feel like if we were there together as kids, we would be best friends. Kendra's yeah. beards from day one, never met the guy, hugs all around, and this is the way it is with everybody here. And so that's what I'm thinking for. Very man, I love you. Well, love you too. Thank you for the one question. Thank you for doing this. I appreciate it. Yeah. Now we're sitting down with the one and only Java Akuma. We're here enjoying a beautiful night. And I wanted to have this little get together, Ray's idea. And the question we have for everybody is what is it that you're most thankful for? Well, I thought about this question because it leaked to me a little bit. <laughs> so I got to think about it a little bit. <laughs> Um, but what I would say is that growing up, I was a younger sibling. So my brother's friend group was always my brain. And then when we were going to college, his friends kind of moved off with him. So for a lot of the time that I was young and into adulthood, I don't really have any friend group. And so coming into Pokemon and kind of starting out and getting into Discord and then and then that evolving into events like tonight right. and going to Rusty's, 
uh, and all that stuff. Like now, I feel like I officially have like a friend, <laughs> you're, like you're my right. friend. Yeah, I'm not the little brother taking along, you know, with my older brother. I've I've got the friend group now, which I love. Yeah. 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 Um, what what was it like for you as a that friend group moved oh. away from you and you were left for them? Was it a real did you really <laughs> Um, I was pretty much new that I kind of attached myself to him. He's much more of an outgoing person than I am. I'm definitely much more introverted. And I like to do my socializing online and be a YouTube and Discord. But it's so much easier. Um, yeah, and I'm like terrified of striking up. Probably just conversations out of the blue with like random strangers. That is so to have like. A group of people with a common purpose and a common like goal and a topic to just fire right in and talk about. Like it definitely brings out more of the extrovert. Um, well, it removes all that on and, and, and I was talking to Beerskin and I said the same thing to to our previous guests, and it was basically Pokemon was the medium that just unfolded everything and opened it. Yeah, and then after that point. Nothing else matters. And we all connected. We're all, was, I felt the same thing Beersky was like, we're, we're like best friends. We've never seen much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the internet definitely brings a lot of people. Like, like, we asked everyone that's in this house, where are you from? We would get in West Coast, East Coast, South, North, like Midwest, everywhere. And that's so cool in that we all travel to these places and we just get to hang out with each other. Wait, that long be have a time. I, I definitely, this is this is the type of stuff that I'm going to go right, home right. tomorrow and I'm going to be thinking about it for the next two weeks. Exactly. I'm going to have like post con depression for a little while <laughs> while I can get, get back and used to normal. I was telling yeah. the chef, I said, chef, like, we haven't even processed what's happened. Yeah. Yet. And I'm still in awe of the even worked. Yeah. <laughs> right. And uh, it will take me weeks to just understand the magnitude. I, I'm just. I'm so thankful. Yeah. Um, just like uh, tell all. No, no, no. It's uh, very simple. Very simple. So all we're doing here, we're doing one question for all of our guests. All right. And that is, what are you most thankful for? Uh, most thankful for in, in this uh, in this space in this hobby. You. I'm gonna go with this space just to kind of you know make it fit. Uh, the most thankful part of this hobby, as a person, I've had a few conversations with people. You know me. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go start from the beginning. That's right. As a person that uh, has kind of found themselves in this little gray pocket in the TCG space, hobby space, where uh, I was explaining to people for the first time this weekend because uh, I never said it live anywhere. Pokemon has always been like a big thing, right? Um, in terms of um, joy, in terms of uh, you know the amount of happiness that it brings me, it was always up there, right? 1999, I never really left it. Maybe there was a gap of four years in there, five years, but the binders were always near me. Uh, I'd be able to having a conversation and you know how people just like leave them in their attic and then now mom's in charge of them, grandma's in charge of them. No. My, my collection was always with me. Fast forward, 2016, 2020, that was all amazing. But when Medizu came in, it took my joy into the hobby from here to here. Because there was something about that competitive aspect that um, just made it so much more superior, if I may. Like, even just personally, um, once that went down, it's a bit hyperbolic, but I, it was a little bit depressing because... If you take that away, and it was the next step up in terms of joy and happiness in the hobby, how do you go back down? And I had, and I've been really having a hard time finding that groove again. And I want to. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to go away. I want to. And it's just finding that space. And uh, something like this weekend really just reinvigorates the engine. Um, 
literally just a few moments ago. I, I asked Charlie selfishly because uh, back at Rusty's, he had his collection, his PC case, yeah, yeah. and people were looking through it, and PK was uh, just <laughs> hogging the whole case, right, and monitoring every single card. And, you know, when, then there's a lot of folks there, so I didn't want to just take over that space either. So when I saw Charlie in here, I was like, okay, i got to shoot my shot. I'm like, hey, Charlie, do you have your PC? He says, no, I left my computer, you know. But, and I'm like, <laughs> it's Charlie. We're in the Pokemon environment. And so when I asked him about his PC, he thinks computer. He's like, he's <laughs> with you. So he brings out the case. I start, you know, flipping through a few cards. My favorite card out of his collection is the Astronaut Pika. Yeah. And uh, anyway, all the way down from Rusty on Friday, uh, that whole um, afternoon and the evening, hanging out with a lot of people in the hobby, a lot of friends that I've been friends with for a long time, a lot of uh, a couple of faces that are the first time in person, yeah. yourself included, yeah. in person for the first time. Um, and here today, in your home. And I've always said, just like I told Rusty, like, a man's home is sacred. And whenever you are um, willing, um, able, and uh, able to cross that line of, I'm going to a lot of people in my home, that is huge. That is, again, that, that uh, a man's home is sacred. And the fact that I'm in here is a huge honor, right? Um, I, I never put myself up in any type of tier, pedestal, or cobalt type of, you know, thing. <laughs> That's just hilarious to me, but uh, I have to admit, like, it makes me feel like... All right, maybe I'm part of this, you know, cool little group that, uh, that, that that's pretty awesome. And so long story short, a, day, a weekend like this week long really reinvigorates the machine. And um, it looks like I'm going to be taking different lanes, but you know what? I'm actually looking forward to my time here now going forward. Um, and, and this weekend just pretty much puts a stamp on that, for sure. So, yeah. What's the different lane? It's always been up and down with me selling, right? Yeah. But now it's com really looking into it from a business standpoint, like yeah. completely. Does that mean that uh, my PC gets shrunk down a bit? Maybe, but I think that's the easiest way to really um, nullify risk. Um, you know, that's the easy way. You know, you know I me. Mean? Like my take about owning a collectible is once it's in your hand, it's worth zero. So be prepared to spend that one dollar, one thousand dollars, hundred that whatever it may be, be prepared to be worth zero in your hand because until you're able to sell it and make that transaction happen, you've got cardboard in your hand. That's all you got. Um so you know, I think and if I may go a little deeper here, one 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 of the things that I realized and I've I'm not I became self aware is one of the important things for me is to become self aware of, of my emotions, my feelings, what have you, is realizing where I fit in and what that is. And I've always I've always, I've always been a collector. I still want to remain in that lane. But I also recognize that a lot of my joy in the Pokemon space that happened post twenty sixteen has been the friends. The camaraderie, the the homies, you know that that we've you know come, come to uh, know and love. But fast forward through twenty twenty, and then onwards, a lot of you guys, most of you guys, have turned it into a business, which amazing, you know, kudos to you guys. I've always been very hesitant, and um, yeah, I've just I've never really leaked in because I had a fear of losing that hobby feel. And and once you went into a business, now it became a job. Versus, so you lose the joy with exactly, yeah. and that's always been my fear. Yeah. Metazoo managed to do that for me anyway and wreck it. <laughs> so it's like you know what? If I'm already there, why not now explore that lane? And it might come in the form of getting rid of a, you know a bit a bit of the PC um, strictly for business, and you know take it from there. I mean, there's a wealth of knowledge. All the people that you brought on in your life, uh, on your podcast, all of the other channels, all the amazing friends that have channels, um, the fact that there's so much wealth, so much knowledge for free. Literally, you can set up with just the knowledge that's been passed around already on YouTube, on their respective channels. Uh, you, you can make it. Literally, you can. You can even not not suggested. Please, you know, look into professional, uh, professional and expert health. But uh, 
you know, the fact that people are still, to this day, uh, Malik Ray, correct me if I'm wrong, Ray Q, just did that a few months ago, left his full-time job and started doing full-time Pokemon. The fact that you can still do that today in 2024 is amazing. So, yeah, so again, feeling like I've lost touch or there's been a gap between the homies and myself because I still consider myself a collector and now their business and I feel like the conversation uh, conversations no longer overlap. I think, or at least I feel comfortable now switching over to the land saying, yeah, that's okay. Let's let's look into the business aspect and let's make it fun. And let's, you know, I still need to be methodical with it, but let's make it fun. Let's let's, let's graduate every single time. When that's, up. that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. And again, a weekend like, like, like this one, Really reinvigorated that that taste like yeah. Okay. I'm so thankful that you came here. I really appreciate you making the time. Yeah. Thank you. Um, one of our conversations that we've had, it, it's it's touched me in ways that I've thought about in more times than I can probably be telling. You and I have spoke about this very loosely, but. Our wavelength of thought process yes. is, is very similar. Yeah. We, if it wasn't as old <laughs> as I am, we could probably do that 25 hours live. Uh, I feel bad, but I think after our five hour, five hour live or something like that, we went for another 45 minutes to an hour exactly. post. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't think it's not just the back fault. It's my fault. It's, it's only bathroom break. <laughs> But we, we connect on a different line. And I love the deep thought. I love the carefulness, but also the joy. I love the heartfelt, yet sincere, and truthful words of truth at all times. So I'm thankful that you're here. I'm so happy that you made it. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Ah. Alright, so good night. Good night, buddy. Love you, So what we've been doing here is raise idea. Okay. It's one question. And it's what are you most very this community. Yeah. Like so grateful for everyone that's here right now. Um everyone that I've met in the past two years. Um it makes the hobby for me. More than the cards, more than the dollars, the cents, uh, this, like what we got right here right now, this is what I love so much. Um, it's special. I don't think it's representative in a lot of spaces. Um, there's something special here. And um, I'm, I'm like truly humbled to be part of it. I like just feel so incredibly lucky that I've met all these people in this world. Like, in this hobby, it just means so much to me. I, I don't. I don't understand. I can't really. My wife and I talk about it so much, and I can't put words to it. Like, yeah. Sweetheart, there's just something different. Here. Different. I cannot explain it. I've traveled the world. I've, I've been in corporations for twenty years. Yeah. Good management, bad management. It's. It's. This is different. I, I, I don't know why. I, I, did, 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 should we, could you do this to us? Uh, I don't know. But <laughs> their journey has been. I feel like all of our journeys in sort of way. Like. Um, Two weeks ago in the Jersey Black Con, my wife got to meet a bunch of people. And she said to me, and she told me, like, I'm so happy for you. And this is happening. All oh, these people are the way they are. And she's like, uh, again, I just don't know what to say. Like, it, it could, it brings like tears to my eyes. I'm so happy. So much. Like, it's just so cool to be part of all. Like, what's going on right now here is just so, like, Real <laughs> and awesome. Like I, I, I don't have words for it. It's unreal just, at the same it, time. It, it's just so cool. And uh yeah, I, I mean I'm gonna say the same thing I say all I feel like I say it all the time, but like if you're in this hobby and you're not putting yourself out there, you're doing yourself a disservice. Yeah. Um so yeah, just I, I don't know. Ash and Pikachu took us here. And <laughs> I mean I was I don't know, ninety-eight, I was ten when it first came out, and I just remember like sitting there watching it with my dad's recliner and just eating cereal and I was like now I'm sitting on this couch talking to you and it's like it's just insane this happened. it's just so crazy I love, it. I love it too dude I love it man thank you very much man, big time as you know I feel like we're doing one thing here we're asking one question keeping it simple because we don't read essays so 
What is it you most think with children? What is it you most think? Can you, like, right now, one of the things that's, like, I'm really thankful for that I've been like, thinking about, like, today, right? This weekend or whatever, is that I feel like one of the things that's really cool about people like me is we always talk about, like, how, like, you get to be an adult and everybody talks about, like, how hard it is to make friends. And it just, like, just immediately dips off, right? And it's like, you remember having all these friends in high school and in college or whatever, and then, and then it's just hard from then. And, like... It has never been fun. I've never struggled. It's better than it's ever been. With Pokemon, it's, and it has, yeah, more people are into it. And so it's like, I think that uh, I'm really just thankful that, like, I've never had to deal with that because Pokemon is just like, it's just so easy to find, like, you know, just good people. You know? Like, it's not, uh, the community self moderates really hard. It does. Really hard, yeah. It's like, and it just doesn't, like, tolerate really anything. And so everybody's really chill and well behaved. And I told my wife the same thing. We were talking about it. And I said, you know, you have to understand that if, if you do the wrong thing, boom. You do not last. They they will push you out. Like you're you're not welcome. Right. And it happens fast. Right. And I fully agree. And actually, I probably have more friends here that I have a better connection with than I did my entire childhood. Yeah. I have a few. I mean, obviously, I have childhood friends, but like we. we yeah. Um. And I fully agree with the perspective that. As you get older, it's supposed to be harder to make friends. I don't know. No, no, no. Yeah. And the friendships don't feel like they're for a time and a place. It doesn't feel fake either. No, well, it's, it's not. No, it's not. It's like, yeah. And Beersky and I were just talking. And I can't put words for it. Why, why is it that way? How can strangers be each other over medium of Pokemon or ice cream or whatever the case is? Why is it different? You, have any you, you know, the guards, I mean, and so for, I think there's like, first off, it's like, if you're willing to travel the world and spend all your money on these, on this game, right? What, nothing else sounds ridiculous anymore, right? You, you, you cross the threshold. Yeah. Right? You, you're good. So I think, you know, I think people are just like very quick to be themselves. I don't think that, so just, I think a lot of times you're like, you meet somebody and then a couple of years go by and then you meet somebody. Right. right. I don't the, think that the, happens. Then. I don't the think real. that happens. I think I think we just meet people pretty quick. We have dinner, like we're good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we're good. yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm literally I'm in your house right now. Yeah. And I was allowed in. I didn't just break in. Right. So yeah, I was like, I'm in your house. You did you know? knock. Yeah, that's fair And you have a bunch of people over right now. Are you worried about things going missing? No. Like are you worried about like these people kids, being around your family. kids or anything? Sure. You're not worried about any of that. And I think that like I think that that comes with sort of like that community that that vets itself. The community that does like it just spits out anything that they don't. Right. That any of that stuff it could be, and I think part of that is because it's like, I think that people understand and appreciate that aspect, and so they're that's what they're protecting. They're not. It's not selfish. It's not like a uh, like a desire to like. No, keep out the bad ones. No, no, it's, it's just like for me. what we have is too precious to risk. Right. And so I think everybody's like, anytime, even if it's like, it's like gets too gray or something, it doesn't even have to be like outright malicious, but it just like starts to get gray and people are like, whoa, you know, it's just what like, are you doing here? <laughs> I'm not trying to lose this, right? right. Like, this is, and I, I felt that way for a really long time, mm -hmm. like years and years and years and years. And it's like, I was saying too, it's like, one of the things that's really cool, I don't know if it's just like the, older age demographic you know obviously it's different when i was like getting into 20 you know, versus now but like i feel like the new kind of crop of people getting in is like really cool like i actually think that people getting in right now are some of the coolest people like what what is building right now is like just a magnitude better than what you had before. So it's like now it's like before. I mean, you always like, there were cool people, like, obviously, but like, I just think the people in it now are just have they've got really good motivations and like just keep being really good. You know? I'm super excited. And, and Charlie, I said it before. Except it's 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 not me, but it's not you. It's not you. It's okay. Everybody bugs you. Yeah, there's always a bug. <laughs> Yeah. Except one firework that you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Um, I can't thank you enough for bringing your family. Yeah. To your point, uh, you entrusted me to bring your wife 
your family here, your job. Uh, play with my family, yeah. my kids. You need the kids to be friends. That's how they're going to be. It's going to keep getting better, but it says so much. Yeah. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Right, you are a delightful, <laughs> sentimental human being, and I love you for it. And I will always ruin the party yeah. with a gentleman's comment. So yeah. get used to it, my yeah. I love it. I love it. It's me. Appreciate it, but it's a cool project. Dylan, uh, one of the things that we were doing here today, I was talking to Ray, he joked with the idea. He says, hey, Bill, you know, this is going to be a great opportunity. You should bring all the guests in. Just and it's great. One, such a way. Sure. What are you most thankful for? All things for me. This weekend, life or... I want you to expand wherever your mind takes you. It doesn't have to be Pokemon. Wow. You can just be what you as a person would love to think for. Or it could be Pokemon. Okay, yeah. Whatever, whatever's great. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm really grateful that my like close inner circle literally lets me do what I do. Like they don't hold me back. Because they know my passion for things will take wherever I need to be. I'm literally grateful for that because um, because there's no limitation, I can literally push far. Right. So, that's what I'm most grateful for. And let's really be the true you. Right? Yeah. Oh, that brings that up. Correct. Right. Yeah. And like, I love that because people, like, a lot of people are, you know, they're trying to do and they don't like this, they don't like that. And so, my close people, they'll like, do what you do, man. Do what you do. And then they're just like, you're like, you're killing it. You got to keep on killing it. Right. Love you, man. Thank you. So, that's what I'm most grateful for. Yeah, man. And does it, yeah. does it give you a new perspective on the future? What do you see happening for you? Um, I, I, the future is very yeah, unclear. Long. Very unclear. <laughs> but I, I'm naturally a risk taker. Yeah. Like my my parents were like they, they risked their lives to come from Vietnam to here, from the war and all that stuff. So I have that new like mindset of like if my parents risked their lives, I can do anything. I can do anything. Like yes. it, it, anything I do right now is already a better opportunity. Like my my, my past generations have to help. And that, that made me like do so much. What was your opportunity, right? Yeah, so, see that moment. Right. Season. So <laughs> as, as much as the future is unclear, I'm very confident in where I'm going to be. Right. That makes sense. It does. Yeah. It, it's, it's strange. There's like a dichotomy between the clarity, but yes, I have no idea where it's going. Right. I was, I was talking to I was talking to Shell. I picked him up from the airport. He just got back from the, the Gen Con event, and he's like, you know, it seems like every week. I don't know where to go. My, my head is in a thousand different places. Right. Yeah. But yet, I feel so good about what's happening. I have faith that this is all working. I feel the exact, feel the same? I feel the exact same way. Yeah. Like, yeah. the future is so bright. Like, it's so unclear, but I'm so confident in like people around me and where I'm going to be. So yeah. that's where I'm at. Yeah. I really appreciate you coming today. Thanks so much, man. Pleasure. And uh, as always, you're welcome. Oh, dude, you're, 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 you've been like such a gracious host. Thanks so much. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you, sir. The only question that we're asking yeah. is what are you most thankful for? Yes. Most thankful for, for you, in the moment, whatever, whatever's resonating most, most for you right now. That's such a hard question. <laughs> I expected you to say that. Wow. Well, now you know the spot was I think I really enjoyed, maybe it's not really, really enjoyed personalities and people. I feel like I'm, every time I come to these shows, I'm used to um, hang out with some of the same people, but also having um, intimate conversations about their families, about their lives. So I'm enjoying that. I'm very thankful for that. I'm really thankful for Sarah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll hold my adventure for family and family and all sorts of things, but. But I think in, in the moment, yeah, it's, it's just nice to you know, are still you know, in over time. Uh, yes, yeah, more time with an interesting group of people. I, I like part of what I like about uh, like, you know, people who are just poking all different sort of walks of life, well, different areas of the country, different areas of the world. Yeah. It's, 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 it's nice to get to know people. It's, you know, you know, what, 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 what
Can you put a, a thought to what Rinzo is? What, what's that? What's that special thing that we all seem to have? It. We all seem to be there, but we can't put our fingers on it. No. I mean, I think people. I just. I think we we want to connect with people, and, uh, but also be understood and uh, hang out. You know, it's it's a bit. It's just like. We we all enjoy that you know we have we have something in common or we starts with a hobby or something you enjoy and then like over time you get to know someone and, and then it goes from you think your someone's funny or smart or interesting you share the same hobby to caring about their well being learning about you know what strength challenge is they learn about you or moves on to deeper connection and it can be more about the person as a human being is separate from you know something more like superficial even though like the superficiality of Pokemon enjoyment, which isn't necessarily superficial, because we have these. Most of us have these have great childhood memories. Those feelings are very, I think, for the vast majority of us, not all of us, there, still there, got us maybe interested. No, the first one is people are interested in fascinating, and, and the older we get, like, in some ways, and we lost our families, or relationships with your kids, spouses, and people are very, you know, beautiful. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice way to continue to uh, be out of the world where we like to get to know. Obviously, we also get busy as we get a little bit from time, so people can kind of shut down and just be with the family, so these are nice ways to get it means a lot to me. You love my wife and I, and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Jeff. Yeah, like, uh, I mean, I guess this is going on YouTube, probably. Eventually. Eventually. Yeah. If not, you know, just be. Oh, yeah. either way. The hospitality is the Thank you very much. And as they continue to get to know you over the years, and hopefully we're going to have nice events and people continuing to be generous with their like homes and families, trusting other people with their spaces, you know, all this thing. So it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's very nice. Yeah. And probably not just yeah. it ourselves. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, I'm here. I have a room, a household. Yes, yeah. I'm not worried about anything I'm like missing. My family, my kids. It's like her self policing the way that I do. And it's enjoyable. Like we, we don't tolerate the look that we do. We very quickly. Five. Yeah. 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 That happens somewhat naturally, and I, you know, I do think like I like big tent. I like there's something to serve. You know, debate about it. I've been into things I've learned from my childhood. Like I want to include everyone and invite everyone. And it is a, a classic kind of like. Uh, Thing with them, you know. I mean, I guess if it's going on YouTube, right? Like people at home, it's like, oh, I would like to join them. You know, it's like lots of those types of things. I think I find feeling my feelings. And I guess the message I would send would be something like, I think it's, I think a lot of people here are more interested in Particularly for most people, most of this actually, the is not primarily built on what are you going to do there. 
and they're right. like, well, well, yes, you know, right. even if you feel that sometimes the like, fringe is or something, like, like I don't think like the a lot of people who are doing that, and I think uh, and so yeah, for me, they're like, I'll just I'll bar and hang out, and meet people, get to know people. People ask me, you know. How do I invite to the seminar? I want to come and do this or some other thing. That's what I'm going to say. It's like, you know, like anything else, say, be authentic, talk with the player, demonstrate that we are interested in learning who we are, and actually in our games, and we're interested in learning who you are, is actually in your games, like any relationship rather than than it being like a like, business network, yeah. how can you really help me make money or further my career, or, or some sort of like the in crowd of like the online speak of like the legends of the hobby or like the industry, <laughs> that, that sort of energy for us to just sort of like, you know, we just care. And it goes back to your yeah. point, it's, it's, it's a deep connection. <laughs> we care about each other. It's, it's, I don't want to hear you. You're just like me, like you're not walking away here, but okay, what's my checklist? There was nothing you walked away from. Hey, that was a good time. Jolly school. I enjoyed it. That, that's all we really yeah, yeah. Do. We just enjoy each other. Well, yeah, so that's that's my thoughts if I yeah. think about this and I guess what I would want someone maybe to lurk or watching or something it's like yeah, if you like why and then, by the way there's nothing particularly special about uh, Pokemon and learning it here it's, it's, this is happening like hours and hours of groups of adult communities. you know it's hard when you become an adult for some writing I mean Sarah and I talk a lot about it one out of family dad or not tonight say dad or we're getting close or whatever Lots of families have kids, you know, you know, you know, some of your close friends in college or different times of your life, you know, you're busy and so talk and, and they might click back and be very fun, but yeah, having nice adult groups of friends. And so, yeah, if it's in hoping that you're just like whatever social group and, and become a nerd like do something you enjoy and like meet other people enjoy it and get to know them and it will live richer life i guess and don't be intimidated by like uh, you know and, and the energy of some people uh, right. makes people feel that feel uncomfortable. so i think if anything yes yeah, uh, i really appreciate the people yeah, frankly, you and uh, uh, Rusty, TC again, like, his, his family. I just think uh, there's a lot of cutting through some of that, and they, you know, inspire a certain amount of the authenticity and, yeah, wanting to get to, to, get to know you and wanting to, you to feel comfortable. <laughs> And I, you know, I appreciate that. I mean, that's a, it takes effort, holy planning, you know, <laughs> time, <laughs> frustration, <laughs> irritation, like to throw things and have people, right? It's like not all like great, yeah, you know, but it's like, it's, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And actually sort of like, you know, those types of relationships and moments and memories and, It's just the spark that makes all the frustrations Sure. Okay. <laughs> forward to this it's like, it's yeah, man, appreciate you putting in all the effort you know i i wait i something i feel is like i hope i hope we have something in boston so i can return in some ways the generosity and most things there and you know and these sorts of things but i i know that you guys are thinking about it and it's your pleasure to do it it's just rusty's pleasure yeah. that's the way sarah and i feel too it's like a pleasure to that's coming you know it's nice yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. I feel the only one. Don't feel all good at all. <laughs> no, it's not an obligation. It's a, it's a uh, wanting to be generous and then you know putting an effort and work yeah. for people who have put an effort and work for yeah. us. That's what we're doing. Just simply yeah. like, not a, not an obligation. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if I feel like I'm obligated in anything, there's a part of me that just goes, <laughs> screw that guy. I'm like. <laughs> Thanks for the thing. Yeah, like then you're not really. Yeah, this is all like. Yeah, like Jenny, the generous place. Hold on, thank you. I'm glad you bought some more time. We're hanging out just for a few more minutes. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah, absolutely. What are you thankful for?
We're saving my friend every month. Okay. That collector gun. We do it every month. It feels like it. I don't know. Well, how does it really connect you with? What is your name? I mean, that's obviously the thing. But what is, what is it in that space that you're connecting to? Do you love I don't. I have example answers. <laughs> when you're with your friends, what are you scared of? Drunk. I'm in the ears. Before this stream. Okay, no, I get what you're saying. Now, when I'm with my friends, I feel a nice sense of. I almost said friendship. A nice sense of being happy. I mean, well, I'm generally happy person, so, but being with friends really uh, emphasizes that feeling. Yeah. 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 Makes me think. And it's, 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 in sports, it sounds like I'm trying to put down team sports, but in sports, it sounds like you're trying to. It doesn't really make sense in my head, not sure I thought about too much. You're a musician, I'm sure, right? Yes. Yeah, so, do we have the same camaraderie and same decision when you connect with that and we It's probably true. You can take everyone's really out there themselves. In here, it feels like this competition was both bad. Yeah, it's hard to go to the there are a lot of extra support for each other. Larry, I know we have just met. This is pretty handy. Oh, yeah. yeah. so, 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 like a drink. I feel like they crossed past. Yeah. We crossed past last year. Yeah. But not a lot of drink. Yeah. Why am not either one of us remembers the difference? We won't explain why we don't remember that. Okay. That's evident, right? Uh, but, and all serious ones, I, I do really appreciate you talking about Oh, thank you. I, I really appreciate you having me. Uh, Honestly, uh, like, you didn't have to have uh, me at all. Uh, I, I brought white cloth and you could turn it around. I was playing a gas station on the right. That's <laughs> real. Yeah. And uh, the, the kind lady outside the gas station told me liquor stores around here were closed. Okay, yeah. so, yeah. inside. Yeah. We have a great community around me. <laughs> I know it's yeah, as well. Yeah. But Larry, I really oh, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I, I hope to. Yeah. So, look, um, first of all, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you for this. It's been a blast. Uh, I didn't know it would turn out to be an honor. We were super nice. Yeah, I'm ready for this. So, the one question, Luke, is uh, what are you most thankful for? So I'm a, I'm a believer in the church leader. I believe that he saved my soul. So hopefully that's the number one thing. Thank you for my family. Thank you for the you know, God giving us opportunity. That I get to do that in the job often. It's tough. I'm to make it look like that. Yeah. One of the things that I really appreciate about the light is she just believes you kept your band to the business and the the online. Whatever it is, it's really steep. 
how we do it. And they know that there's something missing. They support us. But they don't have the word in the book. It's like they're going to be able to pray for you. Actually, we're going to just forget, but let me do my thing. Yeah, I'm surprised. Even they pray for you, but we're here. Yeah, I've had a couple of conversations. His wife is getting picked up. Have a great time. Have a great time. Face yourself. <laughs> but enjoy, enjoy. And I'm really thankful as well with that your your wife. When I think about you being on the I know there's somebody behind you, whether it's your significant other, your parents, whoever it was that supported who you were doing. I But thank God for your boy was here to life. So thank you for your family and your child. They should have done one. Yeah. Yeah. Never give that back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we need that space. Yeah. 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 Ye
He's not having a great time. I'm not worried about it. He's going messy. He's just a beautiful thing. And I truly love him. Truly love him. Yeah, thank you. So, Chef, you know, great idea. It's a beautiful idea. I'm taking it. I'm not about it. What is the one thing that you're most interested in? That could be what's resonating with you today. That could be what's beyond Pokemon and outside of your life or the moment that we're in. Whatever it is that's resonating with you the most, what are you most thinking for today? Stability. Like today and everything outside of today. Stability is like peaceful here and everything is outside of here. I feel very good and comfortable there. I feel very good where I'm at. Peaceful. The future is like, I just feel good. I'm very good. Yeah, have you thought about how it got to that point, though? I mean, did that stability form, or is it, was it the grind over the years? What, was, what gave you that stability? I think it's the grind, and then how everything kind of shook out, and how I'm here amongst everybody here. And I feel like I'm in good company for the hands. Again, within Pokemon and within Nelson. And I, I really do. More blessing. Yeah, I, I, um, I, I never would imagine something that like, whether it's a job, uh, that they would connect all these pieces together and just intertwine it in such a way that gives us, in reality, something you can't even describe. I've been trying to get on both and see what people would say in terms of why is this different? Why are we here in such a way that you're like nothing else? And when it's here, or with your job, or with other hobbies, there's just something special. And those special things, it's so unimaginable. I'm trying to describe it because I'm a wife, I'm trying to tell friends, and I can't see Maybe my wife will see it today after witnessing the unfold live. But it's important. Do you have any thoughts on why that glue is that invisible? I don't, but I'm one of those guys who thinks like everything happens for a reason, and I don't think it's coincidence we're all kind of connected. And I think the more we are, and the more we're kind of carving out a corner of a hobby, but I also think we're the role models. I think we are the, the proper design of what it should be and the example for everybody else. And I think there's a lot of like like oddness to the hobby and there's a lot of like shakiness to it and then we're we're very stable and we're very united in this little corner section that we have we're very like less and, and then also explains why uh charlie's comments on why there's so much in the hobby because we're, we're protecting that preciousness because we, we see you're like, oh, oh, what's this? Like, yeah, we got something good here. What are you doing? We can't do that. We, you, you either change it or you're out. And like, we're, we're so, that's why we can be here. We have these moments. Everybody's worried. Whether you have your kids, your family, your, your collections, your purse, your wallet, like, whatever it is, like nobody's worried about anything. Well, like, we're, we're good. And it, it's that self placing and preciousness that we're going to protect. And, uh, we have to I agree. I think we do hold people accountable. And then it's like, hey, like that. It's like, hey, the kind of we're about, it's not like anything. Oh, this is about. It's not like that. It's a lot. I'm very proud to be in the circle. Very proud. I, I feel rich beyond any financial consideration. I can't put a number on it. There, there's no number. And quite honestly, so I feel like the new guy in a bit and uh, like honored. Like, I, I, again, I don't know how everything shook out and like how we keep adding pieces to this puzzle. It, it's just remarkable. And I tell you all the time, like, it's just crazy. There's no like around, or there's no like anybody in like around that's very 
I'm all out. And it's just good person after good person after good person. It, it's, I would say, remarkable. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel that way. Truly. I think it's what changes for us. It's changed me, and it's made me a better person at home, in my life, and everything at work. It is. It has really done numbers for me because there's a lot of like kind of missing there until I found this. And then every opportunity I've got, I went outside of my comfort zone and done even this. Even today, like I, everything that I've done has been outside of my comfort zone. But every time I do it, I, I'm like ecstatic on the other side. So it's like, I'm like, okay, and I take the next step. And I'm taking the next step. And, I'm the, and I have no idea what's the future. I have no idea what I'm going to do or no idea what's going on or how I'm going to do it. I just keep taking the next step in faith that... Like I'm in good hands, and and every time I do, it works out. So I, I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. So the first person ever be interviewing anything. Really? Yeah. Well, this won't be a form. This is a very simple. But well, we're doing one question inspired by Ray. And that is, what are you most thankful for? Now, I'll preface that by saying, it doesn't have to be today. It doesn't have to be your life. It doesn't have to be Pokemon. But what is resonating with you at this moment that you feel most thankful for? Getting off the board and only doing sales online. I actually wouldn't do that to me. Anyway. I think it changed the hobby of being random. Like, yeah. They're like lifelong. Going to people's weddings. Hanging out at people's homes. It's like, it's not something you can get if you're just hanging out online. You can have online friends. You can play video games. Anything you This is like, this is what a relationship like. actually wants to know. The other ones are fun. They're not as I mean, they're real relationships. It's not like, you know. It's not, there's something that I keep saying that it's going to sound somewhat better. Like, the, the uniqueness of the hobby and the people we have in it, so you can only truly, I would say, treasure when it's in it. You, 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 you get an income of it, so there's a certain percentage that you can kind of gain over the brain online, I should say. But you don't have it fully. They can sit there and share the brands. Have a laugh. Right? Like, yeah. Throw a throw, uh, horseshoe, whatever it may be. Open packs <laughs> just endlessly of the generates together. It changes everything. Um, why do you think it's different for us? Why is Pokemon different from sports or your other hobbies and spaces? That when you hang out with those people, at least for me, it hasn't had the deep speed of connection that I feel with all of these things. Why do you think it is? I don't know. Like, I have a bunch of friends. Because I, I've played soccer games when I was younger and everything. All those songs are extremely different. A lot of those friends have fizzled out at this point. And it's like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's actually hard to nail in that here. And just, it's one of those, it's like, if you explain it to someone, you just go kind of like, it just is. Like, no. It's one of those, like, if you experience it, you know. You feel it. Yeah. Feel it. And I told my wife the same thing. I said, you know, sweetheart, it's, there's something here. You can't put it on the word. Right. You, maybe you'll see it today. In today's event. You, you've got a ball in front of your eyes. I really can't explain this. You're going to actually mess up. We get together and I feel like we're going to be friends. Everything. Everyone does different things. Yeah. Different walks of life, different jobs. Yep. Started out different places. Different so countries. Exactly. Yeah, and like, yeah, we're good. Um, and I, I can't thank everybody here enough that you spend your time with us. You come by, you hang out, you share with us. You know, it's amazing. I really, really appreciate it. It touched my heart. I appreciate you here a lot. Truly. This is amazing. Look forward to it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the, the question really is what are you most like for? Now, it doesn't have to be in life, it doesn't have to be Pokemon, but it's what is resonating at this moment. Yeah. Yeah. Life also is terrible. Things that you're not expecting for. I think I'm most thankful. Yeah. It is.
Do you count to me and have my band? I'm not working your ass eat, but I want these people to be just good friends. It's not good. 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 I think if you're a good person, you'll find some good back. I think it pays dividends. Sometimes you don't know when you help. You don't know when it's need that moment of that text. And sometimes we have tough days that are you know, long and upset. I would have loved to have a buddy. Bro, that's it. I think uh, yeah. I'm most thankful for uh, the people I can count on. And, uh, you know, I trust them other people. You know, it's something where, uh, you know, there's no doubt in the relationship. I said there's no hesitation. There's no, do I share for it? It's just, it's just, you know, it's just that trust. I think life is short. I think as you grow older and well into the uh, relationships between people, it's really the most important part of my life. Having friends you care about, you know, people you grow up, your family, you know, call your mom every day. It's literally the, the, the people in life are what make life fun and enjoyable. And you don't have these vibes in relationships, you're doing something wrong, and you need to reprioritize what you're looking for. When the money comes and goes, material things come and go. But the people in your life are what make life so valuable and happy. And I'm just thankful for the people I surround myself with. Just that they're successful. I value their success or anything. Um, Can I get that? Just, I don't know. I feel like I'll It doesn't matter what money we make or this or that. It matters yeah. just 10 years from now. I can still call you and say, hey, yeah. how are you doing, man? Yeah. I'm coming to you tell him. You got the couch. I can sleep on. No problem. We had someone you know, leave earlier tonight and they said, hey, you want to go with me? I said, you know what? I rarely get to see these people's room together. It's a nothing, you know, next week, I'll pay a thousand bucks to go around on this ring. It makes no sense to that. But it's like that time, that moment, it's just, you don't understand how short you are. Like, we're going to go home tonight, sleep around the bed. I'm almost going to be gone. I don't know what the rest of this night's going to be, but being here is the most important thing. Yeah, thank you, man. Sorry for sweating. So I, you know, one of the things that we're doing is we're just asking every guest one question. Now, one question is, what are you most thankful for? It doesn't have to be a Pokemon, it doesn't have to be your life, but whatever is ready to hand you with this moment, what is that you that you're most thankful for? Oh, easy. My kids. Like, hands down. Like, they just teach you so much about yourself, you know, like the, the simplest things. And it's just really cool to be able to experience those things. And, and yeah, they just bring so much. I mean, there's a lot of work, but they bring so much happiness into the, you know, through that. So, um, and just, yeah, just spending time. The fact that they have to pretty much go through life with you, right? Because we're the adults, we're making a decision. So they kind of have to just, you know, follow along. And it's really cool to see how they do, how they adapt. It's, 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 it's so malleable. Like, yeah. I, I actually was speaking yeah. to the kids the other day. I'm like, Heidi goes to work and she's having to deal with that all day. And then her kids get off of school yeah. and she's there doing the homework. They're helping out in the store. Yeah. They're helping out and they're playing, whatever the case is. But she's juggling all that yeah. with the customers. Right. With everything. I'm so <laughs> in awe of the how she manages all You know, it's a challenge. And one thing that I have to stop and do is to check up on them, you know, to make sure I'm like, is there anything that Tommy can do better? Like, what, you know, sometimes I'll say some funny things. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Um, but you know, just checking in with them and just kind of getting their their thoughts, you know, and, and processing that. Um, so yeah, you know, one of them was my daughter did say, oh, I don't get to spend that much time with mommy, like coloring, and, like one on one, you know, so like, when she said that, I was like, all right, let me add this into the routine, you know, so I'm able to check in with them and kind of see what they like, you know, at the same time. But it's cool that they, you know, they, they kind of follow you along and then going through life with you and it's just cute, you know, it's cute. It's also a big responsibility, like trying to pursue your dreams 
But you have to make sure that you're not also like sacrificing your own community. You have to do it in a certain like the line. Oh, I mean, for sure, that, that's that's good. And do you think it's going to change that question? How do you think it's going to change that question? Do you guys kind of resonate with something that you think is more good? I think patience, for sure. I'm like, I'm like, I know, yes, patience. It's like, you have to have it. Yeah. And that's the thing, it's, it's like sometimes you just have to take care of business, you know, and put your own emotions to the side and, and just. You know, try to stay pure because a lot of times, you know, with with sports and just you know crazy routines, like you could get lost and uh, you know you kind of lose your patience. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I would say number one, patience um, is is what I've gained, you know, from that. So. For me, with you know, when I was in the military, I thought I learned patience then. <laughs> Because like, of that, oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yeah. Um, and, and in a good way, though. I mean, they, they've truly made us better people. Oh, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't change a thing. But there's tough days. Let me roll. There's days you're like, oh my god, how, how am I gonna do this? Yes, definitely. But I'm always glad that we're there and we're going we'll to have that experience and that opportunity yeah. to bring beautiful people into the program. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's it's great, you know, a lot of pressure, big responsibility. At the end of the day, it's like they're not like they don't belong to us, right? Like they're we're just borrowing them right now because they're eventually gonna go and do their own thing. So we're literally raising these little humans, you know. So we we'll be there after we're gone. Yeah, exactly. And we'll do all the things to the next generation. Yeah, yeah. And, and I often think about what is the impact we're having with them because I want them to be accepted in society. I want them to be welcomed in the spaces that we're in. Like we're, you know, like, yeah. But also they have the opportunity, if they so desire, to make that impact. Uh, yeah, and, and yeah. help inspire the people, their children, or whatever the case may be. Yeah, just treat people, even if they just know how to treat people. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, it's surprising how easy it is to be a good person. You know, sometimes you gotta try a little harder. To stick with it, <laughs> yeah, true, you know, true. but yeah, for sure. I, mean, I, work so, I would say that's like, my biggest that, for sure challenge. Oh, liar. Um, my biggest like learning yeah. um, yeah. 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 and just being responsible for other yeah. other people. So, you like, know, because like, this is not like they're not just kids. Like they're people. You know. So they're like you got a dog. Like, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Like, no. This is completely different. No, yeah. these are these are you know so humans that are gonna grow up and make big decisions and they're not like humans. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for inviting me. All right, then last, but perhaps my favorite. But, but you know, you were right in the beginning of the podcast, yeah. and. Uh, I think about when I say these phrases about I'm really thankful for the people who are doing their job and to give an opportunity to speak to me and you start with this me that we're on I'm on now. Um you were right there in the front. Before we even get started, I'm not sure if I it means a lot to um, and as I speak to that moment of thankfulness, this is exactly the point I was doing. The question we've asked everybody. Whether it's in Pokemon, your personal life, uh, the moment you were in, but whatever's resonating most with you, what are you most thankful for? The people, like you being one of the people, opening up your house to us. It's been a long weekend. I've been here since Thursday, <laughs> and like, it's a weekend of highlights. The three big highlights have nothing to do with the convention floor. They have nothing to do with the buys, the sales, Rusty's house, Rusty's beautiful, amazing family opened their houses up, opened their house up to us, had a great time. And then Saturday, Chef putting together that amazing, like getting us the room and great group of people going there. And then you tonight, like it's, those are the three main highlights of the weekend. None of them have anything to do with the cards. 
nothing to do with like the convention buying selling just the people. So why, why do you think it's different? I mean, I mean what, and I've said it a thousand times. Why is the Pokemon space so different than the sports space or a new Yu-Gi-Oh space or you know, name it, whatever may be? Why is it different? I will say one thing. Yeah. So the Stein space. <laughs> the Stein space is better. It's not better, but it's people? it's good people. It's okay. good people. Like okay. I, a few weeks ago, we had our summer barbecue. We had sometimes we miss it. Sometimes my family misses it. Sometimes it doesn't get arranged. But like we all have this similar interest in these Schultz and Dewey Steins, these old advertising things, and it's a common interest that we're all passionate about. Brings us together. But you go, you hang out, you talk about the Steins, you talk about the Pokemon cards, you talk about grading. Vintage versus my, all the things. But like you talk about life, you talk about your family, you talk about your friends, you, like you're with your friends talking about all these things. So it's it's just this, uh, it's like this icebreaker. It's this easy commonality that we can lean on if we need something to talk about. But we just start there and we go wherever we go. And, and I've said it to other people, it was, but it, it seems like the Pokemon was the medium that just sheds the armor and everything drops off. And then you get to see a real person, and you're not waiting a year and say, Oh, that's who Dan really is. Yeah, no, it's just like it's immediate, it's all right there at the core. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I said it to everybody, I'll say it again. Last one, last one, switch spots. Uh, yeah, he, he took the first one. So I was like, nah, I won't make him laugh. <laughs> He's my guest. <laughs> oh, so it's there? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> See how much you like? Uh, you're the only guest where we switched spots. But I really do appreciate you. Uh, we never saw it. Almost like a workout. I could sit on the outside the way it did. It's almost thrown together. I spoke that we could recreate. Yeah. You've been free from saying top this in another year, but now yeah. it's special. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've said it to a few people too. I've never tried to leave a couple out or a couple people out, but there's only so many. Yeah. I, I, can, I can't fit 50 people in the house. Yeah. Um, I want to make sure that the people that we invite, if we have that hindered spirit, that uh, whole beer spirit is part of the story. Well, and the beer's got really good rainbow strength. And we've spent three months on the ground. And there's something about that that I want to deeply appreciate. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. that's yeah. 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 No, thank you for your time. So, your time, your hospitality. Yeah, it's been amazing. Yep, thank you. Okay. We hope you enjoyed that. If you like more Pokemon content, check out our podcast series here. Otherwise, check out our investment series here. As always, we wish you all a beautiful day, and we look forward to seeing all of you on the next one.